Hey everybody, Vaping Gal Philly here, reporting from the porn curtains again. Sorry about it, but I had a migraine earlier. A um, little light sensitive, so I'm not facing the window to do the review. I know the lighting's a little bit better, but you know we do what we gotta do. Um, I am reviewing a juice from Juice Witch. www.juicewitch. That's w y t c h dot com. I will link it below. Um, I am reviewing Altar, Chalice, Divine, and Elixir. Um, the way I remembered what I ordered was I was going to the Altar with my Chalice to talk to the Divine about the Elixir. Yeah, I'm that kind of vaping geek. Um, I ordered these on Friday. Um, that was the 18th. And I received them in my mail Monday the 21st. Talk about impressive with shipping time. Um, the first one I'm going to review is Alter, and it is uh, described on the website as a bakery cinnamon and custard that will leave you wanting more. And uh, let's see what we got here. This is on my Patriot clone, 28 gauge wire. Um, it's a 0.48 build on cotton, and um, wow, I can tell you right now um, that this custard vape from Juice Witch is now in my top five for custards. I've had many, many a custard that um, was good, but didn't really wow me. This one wows me. You get a buttery, rich caramel-like custard in the forefront. In the background, you get that little hint of that bakery cinnamon, but not so much that you feel like you've got powdered cinnamon in your mouth. Um, that's my problem with most cinnamon vapes, is you either get too much cinnamon and it tastes gritty, or you don't, um, you don't get that bakery cinnamon at all. You get a red-hot cinnamon, which is a candied cinnamon, and it's just not good. But this is amazing. Um, the next one I'm going to do is Chalice, and Chalice is a milk-like cream and um, real strawberry. I've got this on the Aspire BDC. Um, it's between uh, 3.8 and 4.0 on the twist. Again, very good vapor production. This one reminds me of going to a drive-in um, restaurant when I was a kid. They had these huge milkshakes, um, and they would use fresh strawberries, a little bit of whipped cream in there, and then some vanilla ice cream, and blend it all together, and then dollop it with even more whipped cream. I was in love with these things. I was obsessed with them, and I would drink three-fourths of it before my dinner came out and not want to eat because... I'd filled up on milkshake. You would have thought my parents would have learned because we went to this place every Friday. <laughs> but they still let me have it, and I would just take home whatever I, you know, hot dog or burger, and eat it later. Um, you know, I don't know why they did that. I would never do that. But they did it. But that's what this reminds me of. It takes me to a place where I, I was at a happy time. And I love when an e-juice can take you to a place remind you of a place. It, it gives you a travel to your memories and, and that's what that does for me. The next one is Divine and Divine is a lemon cheesecake so I'm going to take a vape. This one is on my Helio. This is at 0.38 um, on 28 gauge wire with cotton on a K100. Very, very good. You get a little bit of the twang of the um, cheesecake, which you get a little bit of a, a twangy tang taste to it from the cream cheese in that. Um, but you also have the sweetness from the cheesecake, which lends itself to the lemon so that the lemon is not overly tart in this vape. Uh, very, very delectable. Definitely a must, must try uh, for me. I will definitely be ordering some of these again because they're just through the roof. Um, delicious. The last one is Elixir. And it is um, 
A complex blend of fruits is the same fruits used in Hex, which Hex is his signature um, e-juice. The difference between the elixir and the Hex is the Hex has cinnamon and absinthe in it, where this does not. So let's try it out. I got it on the MVP that's a 2 ohm bottom coil. I think my battery is dying a little bit on that, but that's okay. I taste some apple. Um, I taste maybe a hint of strawberry, and I'm kind of getting like a hint of peach, but I've been wrong on that before because sometimes when you put apple and strawberry together, you kind of get a blend of that peachy style taste in there. Very fruity, um, almost mouth-watering like you're eating fresh fruit. Uh, very palate cleansing to me. It's it, it's waking my mouth up because of the fruit flavorings that's in this. Very, very nice blend for um, a fruit mix. I am a fruit and dessert vapor, so these four were impossible for me to resist. Um, I had won a gift code off of Vapors Nation and uh, was in a hangout a couple days afterwards with Kentucky Josh um, Chris Witch, who owns JuiceWitch.com, and a couple of other folks, and we were just talking, and he was talking about these juices coming out, so I chose to save my code to try the new juice line, um, and I'm very glad that I did. Um, JuiceWitch has done something that, for most vendors, is not, it's not entirely impossible, but it's kind of impossible most of the time, and that is for me to like all of the juices that I sampled from them. I'm a picky vapor. I'm picky with custards. I'm picky with um, cheesecakes. And I'm definitely picky with fruit vapes. Um, I have a gourmet cooking background. Um, so I pinpoint flavors pretty well. I know what works and what doesn't. And I can tell you that all four of these flavors, um, the altar, the chalice, the divine, and the elixir, all come through. And they are what they say they are. And they're very nicely blended. You can tell he uses good PGVG and nicotine in his products. They are all 100% USA, USA made. Um, and it's just been a joy to test these out. And uh, I will definitely be back for more. So until next time, guys, vape on, vape strong. And you guys have a great day. Thank you.